For years, the Mac Mini has quietly existed in the shadows of Apple's bigger stars. The iPhone takes the spotlight every September. The MacBook Pro grabs headlines every time it gets a redesign. Even the iPad gets more attention during Apple events. But the Mac Mini? It has always been Apple's hidden gem, small, powerful, and essential for millions of professionals. That's why the next step in its journey, the Mac Mini M5, has been generating so much buzz. Fans and analysts alike are asking the same question, when will it arrive, and what will it bring? The anticipation around the lineup. Apple's September 2025 event came and went with no mention of the Mac Mini. As expected, it focused on iPhones, Apple Watches, and AirPods. But in the background, whispers about the Mac Mini M5 have only grown louder. Insiders and firmware leaks strongly suggest that Apple is holding the M5 refresh for early 2026. Why the delay? The answer seems clear. Apple is timing this release to align with TSMC's improved 3 nanometer and 3P process, the very technology that will make the M5 chips more efficient, more powerful, and better optimized for AI. This means that even though we didn't get the Mac Mini M5 in 2025, the first half of 2026 is shaping up to be the true launch window. Apple wants the hardware and software ecosystems to mature together, making the M5 a centerpiece of its desktop lineup. Design Expectations the burning question for many users is simple, will the Mac Mini M5 look any different? The truth is, Apple doesn't rush redesigns. History shows that the company often holds on to the same form factor for years, refining it slowly. Think of how long the iMac stayed consistent before its recent colorful redesign. The Mac Mini is no different. With the M4 Mac Mini in 2024, Apple already introduced a smaller footprint, new memory options, and even shifted the power button to the bottom, something that sparked a wave of debate among users. Some found it sleek. Others found it inconvenient. So, will the M5 bring a radical overhaul? Most likely not. Analysts expect the external look to remain familiar. However, there are hints of subtle refinements. A new space black finish, matching the MacBook Pro and iPad Pro. Slightly improved ventilation and cooling systems to handle the more demanding M5 chips. And maybe, just maybe, a magnetic power connector similar to the iMac. It's not about changing what works, it's about polishing it further. For most users, the Mac Mini M5 will look the same on the outside, but the real story is what's happening inside. Hardware Upgrades, the M5 Silicon Leap. This is where things get exciting. The heart of the Mac Mini M5 will be Apple's M5 chip series, built on that advanced N3P process. And while it won't feel as revolutionary as the leap from Intel to Apple Silicon, it still represents a massive generational step forward. Here's what the M5 promises. Higher efficiency, delivering laptop-like power savings in a desktop form. Less heat, less fan noise, and longer sustained performance. Stronger neural engine, built specifically for Apple Intelligence, the company's expanding suite of AI features. Expect faster real-time transcription, smoother AI video editing, and intelligent design workflows right on your desktop. Boosted GPU performance, targeting creative professionals who rely on Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, Blender, or Cinema 4D. Better multicore scaling, meaning faster 8K video editing, quicker Xcode compilations, and smoother handling of massive projects. The M5 Pro variant is expected to push the Mac Mini closer to professional-grade territory. This isn't just an entry-level desktop anymore, it's a workstation in disguise. Connectivity breakthroughs. Apple is also expected to push connectivity to a new level. One of the most exciting rumors is Thunderbolt 5 support. Currently, Thunderbolt 4 tops out at 40 gigabits per second, Thunderbolt 5 could triple that bandwidth, hitting speeds of up to 120 gigabits per second. For professionals, this means multi 8K monitor setups at higher refresh rates, external GPU or AI accelerator connections with minimal bottlenecks, massive file transfers that happen almost instantly, more reliable workflows for 8K ProRes footage. Pair this with rumored Wi Fi 7 support and the Mac Mini M5 might become the most connected compact desktop Apple has ever made. It would rival even the Mac Studio for certain workflows, at a much lower price. Positioning the Mac Mini M5 in TH
e lineup. So, where does this leave the Mac Mini M5 in Apple's 2025 to 2026 lineup? It's no longer just the budget Mac. Instead, it's positioned as a bridge product. More affordable than the Mac Studio. More powerful and versatile than the MacBook Air. A desktop that appeals to both home users and creative professionals. With the M5, Apple is signaling that the Mac Mini isn't an afterthought. It's an essential piece of the ecosystem, ready to power not just offices and classrooms, but also studios, editing bays, and even mixed reality setups with the Vision Pro. Release dates and timeline. The big question many are asking is simple, when can we actually buy the Mac Mini M5? Apple's September 2025 event gave us iPhones, Apple Watches, and new AirPods, but no Mac Mini. That wasn't a surprise. Apple usually saves Mac and iPad launches for October or spring. Based on current leaks, insiders, and firmware codes, the Mac Mini M5 is now expected to launch in early 2026. Most likely, it will appear in March 2026 at a dedicated Mac event, or through a quiet press release update on Apple's website. This timing isn't random. Apple is aligning the M5 release with the full rollout of TSMC's advanced N3P process. By waiting, Apple ensures that the M5 Macs deliver the efficiency, AI performance, and cooling improvements promised by the new chip architecture. So while 2025 didn't give us the upgrade, the first half of 2026 is shaping up to be the true moment for the Mac Mini M5. Expected Pricing Now let's talk about price. Historically, the Mac Mini has been Apple's most affordable desktop. The base model has usually started at $599 to $699, making it a tempting entry point into macOS. The higher-end Pro variants push closer to $1,299 or $1,499, depending on the configuration. For the M5 generation, analysts expect Apple to keep the same pricing structure. Base Mac Mini M5, around $699, targeting casual users, students, and home setups. Mac Mini M5 Pro, around $1,299 to $1,499, aimed at professionals, developers, and creatives. Apple doesn't need to cut prices. Instead, it adds more value with faster chips, Thunderbolt 5, and Wi-Fi 7. In other words, the Mac Mini M5 becomes more powerful at the same cost. This approach allows Apple to stay competitive without undercutting its own MacBook or Mac Studio sales. Competitive positioning in the market. The desktop market in 2025 and 2026 looks very different from the past. On one side, you have Windows desktops and mini PCs, many powered by Intel's latest Core Ultra and AMD's Ryzen AI chips. On the other, you have Apple Silicon Macs, which prioritize efficiency and seamless integration. Where does the Mac Mini M5 fit? Right in the middle. It's designed to undercut the Mac Studio while outperforming most Windows Mini PCs. With Thunderbolt 5, Wi-Fi 7, and Apple Intelligence integration, the M5 makes compact desktops more appealing for creative workflows, something that most Windows machines struggle with out of the box. Against Microsoft's Surface Studio and other all-in-one PCs, the Mac Mini M5 has another advantage, flexibility. You can pair it with any monitor, keyboard, or accessories. That means lower cost of entry and higher customization. Apple is also targeting a growing segment, creators who don't want to pay $2,000 plus for a Mac Studio but still need professional power. The Mac Mini M5 perfectly fills that gap. Market impact, what each model means. Each version of the Mac Mini M5 plays a different role in Apple's overall strategy. Base Mac Mini M5, this is Apple's gateway Mac. It appeals to students, casual users, and anyone who wants a desktop Mac without spending over $1,000. With iCloud, Apple Intelligence, and seamless integration with iPhone and iPad, it's perfect for home offices, classrooms, and light creative work. Mac Mini M5 Pro, this is where things get serious. It's aimed at professionals, video editors, music producers, developers, and designers. With Thunderbolt 5, Wi-Fi 7, and advanced cooling, it becomes a mini workstation. For many, it replaces the need for a more expensive Mac Studio. By offering both models, Apple widens its reach. The base model keeps the Mac Mini relevant for everyday users. 
the pro model pushes it into professional territory, proving that you don't need a huge desktop to get high-end performance. Broader ecosystem role. Apple's bigger strategy is becoming clear. Every product now ties into Apple intelligence. The Mac Min. IM5 is no exception. It will act as a processing hub for mixed reality applications with the Vision Pro. It will sync AI workflows across iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It will give developers faster compile times while letting creators use advanced AI editing tools in Final Cut and Logic Pro. This makes the Mac Mini M5 more than just a desktop. It becomes a bridge device, affordable for consumers, powerful for pros, and deeply connected to Apple's expanding ecosystem. Closing thoughts. Pricing, release timing, and positioning show us one thing, Apple is taking the Mac Mini very seriously. It's no longer just the cheap Mac. With the M5 generation, it's transforming into a flexible desktop that serves two markets at once, casual users who want affordability and professionals who want workstation class power without the cost of a Mac Studio. In 2026, the Mac Mini M5 might not be the flashiest Apple product. It won't grab headlines like the iPhone 17 or Vision Pro 2. But in terms of market impact, it could be one of the most important Macs of the decade. The lineup is simple. The design is familiar. The upgrades are powerful. And the message is clear, the Mac Mini is no longer underrated. With the M5, it's stepping into the spotlight.